Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with We Go Knuckle Tools Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans and what we do around here. What we do around here, bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. Signs that you may have at least some um, level of uh, genius within you is kind of today's um, audio. We've got over 1,300 of these available for your listening pleasure, and we continue to add as often as we can for your listening pleasure in that way. And so what are some signs of genius? That's what we're going to be talking about. But before we get there, uh, please feel free to reach out if you need some assistance, life, business, relationship, coaching, all these points in between. would love to be helpful to you in that way at Theo Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either way, lead you where you need to be. Uh, the first is you're you're thrilled with new ideas. Um, genius people or people with genius like you are, get stuck or get tired of the paradigms of the current moment. It doesn't mean they can't find joy in them, but once you've figured something out, there's a little less joy there because once you figure something out, the expansion is where a genius level person wants to go, which means they ask a better quality of... Um, question or a more intense question or a more directed question. This is because the potential to uh, make changes and shift things forward comes from asking powerful questions. The ability to make powerful questions a center is an important factor of things and knowing how to do that in a way that makes sense is also important. The negative side of genius is that uh, people with genius like you is more are more prone to addiction for a number of reasons, but in simple form, it's because the things that normally hold a average person or below average person's intelligence um, attention no longer hold the same draw for a person that has addiction-related challenges, and that ultimately uh, comes down to a lot of a lot of challenges in in the way of just finding. How do we make a person feel better about themselves? How do we make a person feel like, hey, uh, this is, you know, this is good, this is smart, this is right, this is just, when that individual doesn't necessarily um, find the same joy in, in things that other people may find simplistic or other people may find joy in. Um, the next thing is these individuals are also prone to worry because they're looking ahead, which means they see all the pitfalls uh, many times before another person does. The, uh, a highly intelligent person is also more likely to map out the things that can go wrong in their own head many steps before uh, a person who is more positive or optimistic. This is because the power of belief I I can influence mood, can influence uh, core value. And so if a person believes that things are going to go well, they're going to kind of block off the negativity. If a person believes things, are, things need changing or that things can go wrong, uh, they're going to worry about the things that can go wrong on a more consistent level. And ultimately that leads to pessimism. Some people say realism, other people say pessimism, but certainly leads to a differing mindset that veers in the more negative direction. Now, there are advantages to that, and some of those advantages are are more focused on, you know, a person can easy, more easily reach resolution within themselves when they're more prone to negativity just because uh, they're able to protect things. On the other side, they can be harder to deal with and lead to social isolation for themselves, even if that's not the pure intention. A person who is more negative is more prone to social isolation, isolation because, or isolation because at the end of the day, they are, you know, going to struggle with things on a deeper emotional level than average, and that can drive people away from them without actually meaning to drive people away or without being the main focus and very few people want to drive others away from them but they don't really understand how things are going in a good direction so uh, that can be problematic as well these people are also more comfortable with being alone that's because uh, the power of thought for them holds a higher or potentially higher value than 
for the average person. And so focusing on thought and focusing on change through thought and focusing on all those things can lead to a positive resolution in a more simple manner. So hopefully this is helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.